right, guys, as you can see, so many people are placing their R888 orders with us. We're super excited, equipped them and supply them with some Toyota tires. These things are hard to get, and we're pretty fast on getting them for our locals and our out of state. But we want to welcome you guys to episode 11. We're super excited. We got a lot of Gen 6s that we're going to be modifying, adding such as taillights, carbon fiber, and equipping some more mods. Stay tuned. We do have a couple more announcements coming in towards the end. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole episode. There's some awesome news that we're going to be announcing on episode 11 today. Time for that review. Let's check this out. <laughs> so we start out with the back. There you go, as you can see. Uh, the one LA carbon fiber, uh, spoiler, one piece, all good to go. Look at this aggressive diffuser. So, you know, it makes your car pop, good to go. Uh, probably want to consider def uh, definitely quad tips in the future if you want to fill in. If you want to just make it more aggressive, it's an easy cut. Just put quad tips and you'll be good to go. But all nice and aggressive from the back going all over around. So now going over this way, obviously you kind of somewhat the cars uh, get to go equipped, but just on point, man, with everything, you know, so, so you should be good. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly, exactly. Wait, Wait yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, look at no this. More, look at no this. more wings. Yes, yes, yes. You can't, nothing at all. Like you can't, so man. should be good. Um, and all around, man, honestly, like, it's it's on point. That color is amazing with contrast on the carbon fiber. For some, you honestly, man, I, man, I, I you love that, man. I love that. I'm telling you. Thank you, thank you, man. thank you. You are, that's all you trust in opportunity. Camaro, exactly, trust exactly. go guess what we're working on today guys got a beautiful gen 6 super bright can be missed let's go dive into all the details Ooh. wow got a set of Velux from the 16 to 18 good in stock now super excited to make sure we transform the old stock ones and why did we do the Velux for our client Jesus because check this out his third OEM brake light will match perfectly with our Velux tail light. Let's unbag this real quick, check out the packaging so we can go ahead and show you what exactly I mean in regarding the Velux. One of the cool things about the Velux, why I love adding it, especially on a bright yellow Camaro like this, it blends it really good with the gloss black and red accents, meaning the third brake light that comes with the OEM factory will fit perfectly fine and perfectly designed to make sure it works with our Velux red accents. So imagine this side right here, 
is replaced with this. As you can see, already a huge much difference. It also blends in with the SS batch with the chrome and red, and it's got the gloss black diffuser. So super excited for our client. We're not done yet. We're not just doing tail lights, we're doing a lot more. We have to remove the rear bumper for an adding on our RF-1 diffuser in gloss black. So let's go ahead and dive into the install, show you guys the before and after, and I can't wait to finish this product for my client. I just wanna just give a huge shout out to my guy, Jesus. This thing's probably the cleanest Gen 6 yellow Camaro that I've seen in our facility. Usually when we get a yellow Camaro SS Gen 6, they're usually kind of beat up, paint is fading. He maintains his car on point, guys. Extremely happy, super happy that he's in our facility. We're gonna give him that quality work that it deserves. Let's go ahead and get started, but shout out to Jesus for maintaining his Gen 6 and keeping it fresh. This wire harness functions the brake lights on our tail lights. Now it is plug and play. All you have to remove is the third brake light harness from your vehicle. It plugs in right to our harness that we make for you guys. And this goes right back to your harness. Now, we get a lot of questions of how are we gonna run these wires to make sure it doesn't cut when we install the tail lights. We're gonna show you guys the steps to do so so you can go out and see the process of taking these out and running this out wire without getting it cut. A little hitting spot that I like to run this to the driver's side is I go underneath the truck, the truck, the trunk, um, and I go through these little frame holes underneath to run this wire so it doesn't show and it's hitting very professionally without having something loose on the vehicle. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys the before and after. It's so much more aggressive, a lot more 3D aggressive, super bright LED panels and Amper Sequential tail lights. They can't beat that. Let's go ahead and install the tail lights and show you guys the before and after on the driver versus the passenger side. Forgot to mention one thing, this red wire right here. So what's the hitting spot that you guys can go through? Do you see this rubber garment right here? All you have to do, you don't even have to remove it. You can if you want to, but you can remove it fully, put the wire through there and then legit plug it back in there to the car like nothing happened. It's super convenient and it's a good spot for the wire to be ran without having to cut the wire when you install the, the tail lights or running something on top of the trunk, which is not good because they don't want any water in there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check this out. We're gonna run full functionality before and after on how the OEM functions on the brake, turn signals reverse and uh, nighttime running. So let's go ahead and show you guys some functionality. I'm super excited to show the difference. A huge difference already, guys. Super in love with these. Don't forget to get your Velux on our website. All right guys, another option too. Don't forget, of course, this is our Velux version, but we also offer the smoked out Umbra. So if you're interested on this, you can get the Velux or the Umbra, whichever fits your mod, your mod build to the list that you wish to desire. So let's go over this. Uh, we hardly highlight this on our YouTube channel for you guys, but um, here is our side markers that we carry for the Gen 6 from 2016 all the way to 2022. It's a very bright black housing with a strip right in front. Why do we show the LED strips? Because we really want them to be bright for you guys. So this will replace this OEM factory one and then it'll be a black housing over here. This is the wrong side. So let me go show, at least show you the right side right here. So you'll see more of an accurate fitment and a difference. So let me go ahead and take out this for you guys, show you the before and after how less of a bright this is versus our side markers that we make for the 16 to 22. So see how they're on right now? This isn't bright. Let me show you what's actually brighter. All right guys, so they're on right now. As you can see, it's a normal halogen bulb. Let's plug in ours right now real quick. And you're gonna see it's already really much brighter. And as you can see, and it's a lot more aggressive. This is a no-no, this is a yes-yes. <laughs> we 
removing the bumper for our client because we're installing a new diffuser on his vehicle. So it is required for the whole bumper to be remo removed because we have to strip down the whole entire diffuser and on top of that, the protection bar that comes with it. And I'll explain more information when we have the bumper off for you guys. All right guys, as you can see, the whole way bumper is fully stripped down to the bare bone. Now, what we have to do is remove this diffuser. After we remove the OEM diffuser, we're gonna put on our aftermarket diffuser. It's gonna give a car a more 3D look to match the Velux tail lights that Jesus added with us. Let's go ahead and take out this diffuser and show you guys the final results. All right guys, so this little two pieces right here, we call them the deflectors of the rear diffuser that we're gonna be adding. We're taking out those red ones that he has currently, and we're gonna spice it up with a small touch to give it somewhat of a carbon look, but it's a smoky reflector, and it is functional if the lights do flash at it so you can be able to be seen at night. This is gonna change the look of the diffuser and make it more aggressive rather than just having a random red reflector that doesn't blend in with the diffuser. Let's go ahead and show you guys the results. So this is our RF-1 diffuser. As you can see, it's integrated in a mold injection, one piece with some sharp fins to give the car a more aggressive look and a 3D style design to make sure it blends in on both sides with the quad tips. Now, as you know, we're gonna take out the red ones and we're gonna put the smoky reflectors and that's gonna look exactly just like this. It blends in, gives the car more aggressiveness and I can't wait to show you guys the final results. All right guys, so we are finalizing the last two pieces that we're gonna modify. As you can see, we did a lot of work on the back. I'll show you guys very soon, but we're gonna take out those amber side markers. And we're gonna add our smoked out bright yellow side markers so you can see the difference between the only emphasis hours. Here we go, let's check out the difference. Booyah, amber in the front, red in the back. Good to go, I love it. Just blends in so well with the yellow. Uh, one of my favorite mods, honestly. A lot of starter kit uh, clients that when they first get introduced to us, they start with these uh, side markers so they can start slowly getting ideas of what to add after they add these LED side markers. So if you guys are interested, this will be in our website, ready to purchase and it's ready to ship out as well. different look so Let's see what you got over here really man <laughs> I know I know uh, the whole 3d on it uh, is so much more aggressive two things we hooked you up on the back can you guess what they are you didn't purchase what is it the license plate frames yeah you see the LEDs so it used to be yellow we just wanted to give you that white luxury they're super bright I know, and then check out the reflectors. We hooked you up as well for free. We do sell those, but they're smoked carbon oh black. God. So instead of removing that red one, I didn't want that on there. Yeah. We have such an aggressive car. So uh, we took out the factory red ones and we added our special smoked out deflectors. So it should be, of course, man. So much more aggressive. You got the 3D look with the fence in the back. Uh, on the side profile right here, you can see the uh, side markers. Uh, red in the back, very bright with a black housing, and then amber in the front going over. Uh, it's gotta keep it street legal, so should be good to go. But, dude, I know it's, it's something to start out with, but the back is so aggressive right now, it's not even funny. Exactly. Well, check out the taillights. We're gonna show you the amber sequential. Everyone loves the sequential on the taillights. You gotta love that, so. I know, look at that, it's just phew. And then this is red without the lights on, so it's still red. It blends in with the third brake light like it's supposed to be. And 
Also with the SS badge too, so which is really sweet. Um, show you reverse and brake. Let me turn that on for you. That's reverse. This is brake. And then that's the night lights. And that's it, man. They're freaking bright. So, and that's during the day, like it's barely somewhat, you know, so imagine at night you're gonna be seen all over. And then 3D, it looks like it's floating off your bumper. You know, you got the glow of the light bright on your bumper right here. So everything on this taillight, man, it just changes the game on the Gen 6 community. You see, it just, you know what I'm saying, it makes it more thicker, more aggressive uh, with the shark fins and everything, you know, so. And it fits your quad tips. So that's, that's very important. You know, it sits evenly too, as you can see on middle space, it's all nice and even. I'm super happy for you, man. Honestly, you paid off, so that's for sure. So we got two beautiful SS, brand new 2020, 2022. What are we working on? Currently we have this booked on our appointment schedule for today. This is Hunter's 2020 SS Camaro, super, super awesome car. When we first met him, we started out with the Z01 1LE carbon fiber wing. The cool thing about this roller is the hottest thing in the market right now. If you end up getting the OEM one, which is almost triple the price of this one, you will get the legs in plastic, non-carbon. So advantage of ours is all one mold, ready to go, carbon fiber to slap on on your vehicle. So if you guys are interested, make sure you contact us so we can get you a set of uh, 1LE spoilers for your Camaro. Now, moving over to the next product that we got going on, we have two projects that we're adding on this beautiful SS, two amazing mods. One of the set is LED and the second is another carbon component. What are these? Stay tuned, let's dive into all the details. All right guys, so you got right here a beautiful carbon fiber one piece look. Now, you see this bottom one? It's semi-painted, glossy. Not the best look that I would wanna add contrasting a white and gloss OEM SS Camaro. Now, we're gonna add this beautiful carbon fiber piece, double-sided gloss, extremely high-end quality. We're super excited to give him that luxury look that he deserved. We're then gonna take this out, so you're gonna show you the before and after, and we're gonna add this beautiful lip right underneath here. The cool thing about this product is a two-piece product. There's also an extension splitter that we make in carbon fiber, and that's why these holes that's being made for that second piece to be added. Hunter doesn't wanna add that at the moment right now. He will be doing that near the future. He wanna start out with the lift first, and then go ahead and add the second piece later on. I'll see you guys soon. All right guys, let's go ahead and check out the final finish on the front carbon fiber lip. A game changer, super happy. I love white contrast with carbon fiber. I think it makes the car pop, makes it more luxury and sporty. Let's go ahead and check out the front lip. All right guys, so let's go ahead and go over this beautiful lip. It's a one piece mold, given a nice winglet action on the side of the, the lip. So here's the cool thing about it. This part right here, a lot of other competitors, they do is they 3M stick it onto the lip. So the cool thing about it is injected one mold vacuum to be all in one shaped intact with this carbon fiber instead of being separate. It can affect by, you know, washing the car, it can easily stick out and fall out. And of course, you don't want anything carbon fiber breaking or falling. So the cool thing about it is one piece mold ready to go. And check out the aerodynamics. It flows really well with the shape of the 19 and up OEM bumper. So going to the other side, same exact style, double-sided carbon fiber, giving the car the right look that it deserves. Check it out, what do you think? 
so look at the glare on it, man. It like, like sits perfect too. Yeah, yep. So it gives that nice downforce. Side markers, as you can see, nice and bright during the day. Just wait till the nighttime. It's gonna be so much brighter. So you got the yellow in the front, red in the back. That's the street legal colors. So make sure you're good to go. But it's the black housing, so you should be good without any issues. Yeah, man. But what do you think? I honestly, I'm in love with this. Honestly, it looks so good. Yeah. Super excited for this beautiful SS, a bright hot red out in, uh, in our facility right now. What are we doing to it? Well, before I let you guys know what the mod that we're gonna be adding to this beautiful build, we uh, we love what we got going on right here already. As you can see, the S uh, the Z11 LE replica wheels with the SS center cab hub to give it a contrast with the red edition stripes. Going over to the side, the Z01 rockers in gloss black to match the theme that he's got going on. It's got a beautiful uh, lip with a nice little aerodynamics on the sides of the front bumper. And lastly, as you can see, the Chevy bow tie is removed on this trunk and um, he put a nice, big, aggressive SS batch on there. And as you can see, he got the quad tips with the Borla attack. Uh, super excited, I can't wait to show you guys the modification. It's just gonna fit perfect with this build. Let's get this car in the warehouse and let's get to work, guys. This thing is manual, guys. Check this out. I mean, you get, I get, we get a lot of SS's right here, right? But it's very rare for us to get manuals in here. And when you drive in manual, this is a 50th edition. You already know you got a good, a good SS trim for you guys right here. So let's get to work, and I'll see you guys in the warehouse. All right, guys, as you can see, these are our Velux version versus the Umbra. The difference between on the Velux and the Umbras, the Velux has an already built-in red lens in there. So a lot of people that already have, for example, the third brake light that's red, it'll perfectly match, obviously, with the third brake light and this amazing color. So a lot of the Gen 6 Camaro owners that own this color or the little bit of the dark maroon color love to get the Velux because it just sits perfect with the contrast that it gives their Camaros. So good. Look at that sequential. Yeah. Just gives your car a brand new look. You know, that wideness, the 3D aggressive look that it deserves with the stands. You got the reverse, both sequentials are all red. When you break, it's all red too. So, right now. yes, yes. They're gonna, you're definitely gonna be seen out at night, that's for sure. <laughs> is not just there yet, but I want you guys to check out our awesome windbreaker that we have available on our website. If you go to autoaddictusa.com, this windbreaker is an all weather windbreaker product. It's super, super thin. It's very comfortable on the body. And the cool thing about it, if you guys don't know, we have a carbon fiber auto addict sleeve 
This is really awesome attention to detail. As you guys know, we saw a lot of carbon fiber, so we had to make sure we integrate it to our merch so you guys can rock this, knowing that you're equipped with Auto Addicts merch. All right, guys, so check this out. We have something really awesome on our show display right now. This is the horn cover of an SS Gen 6 steering wheel from 2016 to 2018. Now, you see a cool custom SS letters. Our client did not want to go with the OEM style look like SS letters. He kind of scratched something out for him, and he approved on it, and after that, he said, pull the trigger on it. So he wanted to kind of play around with the S, has a little bit of an angle, a little twist to it with a cool sharp line that has a little bit of a uh, distress at the end. This right here will be equipped for his steering wheel. As you can see right here, this is a full on steering wheel and check this fitment out with everything just fitting all together. This right here, guys, is an awesome killer look. So if you guys are interested, make sure you contact our sales department at sales.autoaddictusa.com to help you out of how to build this entire steering wheel and this awesome horn cover. Guys, if you guys want more information into our steering wheel lineups from Mustangs to Chargers, Camaros, check in for next week's episode, episode 12. We're gonna go ahead and equip to all types of information for you guys to get to know how to style your OEM steering wheel with us. All right, guys, the big news is finally here, and I am so extremely, extremely excited and stoked to share this information with you. What's that information? Well, I'll got to see you guys out in the studio and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, as you can see, got a beautiful Z01 right here. Shout out to our client, Aaron, for giving us the opportunity. We'll go over all the details very soon for you guys of what we equipped this beautiful ZL1. But the major news is, is yes, we are counting our days here in our last uh, couple weeks before we move out. This studio, everything that we've been do doing, all the wraps, the carbon fiber, the product reveals, the tail lights, the hoods, you name it, is finally coming to an end in this facility. Auto Addict will be relocating to a new HQ out in Anaheim, which is not far where we're at currently right now. It's gonna be something that's really cool, a lot better experience, and at the same time, to have a better workflow for everyone. One of the reasons why we're doing this move is to step up to the next level of quality work and customer service that we always strive for when it comes to serving our clients. Whether they're in state, out of state, outside the country, we wanna make sure we perfect combine that atmosphere, bring in positive vibes, awesome products, quality work at the end of the day, and satisfaction from you guys. What's that new facility? Well, let's go over to the next segment and give you guys some quick highlight teaser of where we're gonna be moving to. Lots of construction going on right here, guys. I'm super excited. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. That is official. Auto Addicts will be moving their headquarters into a new facility in about four, four, four to five weeks. May-ish, we should be able to get the keys. And yes, we're gonna be operating 100% in regarding all the services and even more services that we're gonna offer for you guys. We're super excited to be in this place and given the opportunity to move our facilities into one big place, so that way we're taking care of everything all in one house. What's inside this facility? What are we gonna be offering? We gotta stay tuned for that, but let's show you some behind the scenes right now. We're modifying our showroom into something special for you guys so we can actually park vehicles in there displaying all our work, not just products. That is correct, vehicles as well. So let's go ahead and sh show you guys some highlights, show you what's going on, and I can't wait to show you guys along with our journey in regarding moving to our new facility.